Hey, soldier. Special tadpole? <laughs> Bit of a contradiction in terms, don't you think? I don't even want a regular one. You're talking about turning into what? A half squid? Not surprised you haven't tried it yourself yet. <sighs> Thank the gods. The rug pool, eh? A mind flayer manipulating us this whole time. Such creatures are not to be trusted as a general rule, though this one does appear to have had a significant hand in our survival up to this point. At best, an ally whose motivations remain shrouded in deceit. We should be wary of what such an alliance may cost us. The truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb safe so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder why offer it to me? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. Idling away the hours. So, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. And now it's offering us power if we're willing to... evolve. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. We both know what it is capable of, but I'm not touching it. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. 
My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I, I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. If we master the Tapons, it will be different. But right now, that mastery depends on an Elithid and its gift Yankee slave. I'm not going to submit to this. Don't ask me again. Yes? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. You wish to consult me? If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. I am surprised you have not drawn on its power yourself. As you should. When I am stronger, we are stronger. A mistake. I am your most valuable asset. When you realize your mistake, I will be ready to join you again. A mind flare whispering to us in our dreams all this time. <sighs> I really shouldn't be surprised by anything at this stage. Still, it seems keen to be an ally in its own way. Compared to what we're up against, I'm not sure that's a bad thing. How can I assist? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. The mere suggestion is an insult. Gladly. I'm listening.
Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? Of course. Well, don't stand in ceremony. Come here. I thought you'd never ask. Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Very well. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Th oh, we have a new look for a new Shadow Heart. Nice as it is. She still doesn't have the best hair in the camp. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. There's 
no more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. With pleasure, lead on. 